Right. We found you out of it on V, covered in blood, burying the pieces of your wife and the pizza guy under a rose bush in the backyard. There's a bloody chainsaw in the bathtub, and by the looks of it, they had been shot in your bed. The murder weapons have your prints all over them, and you say you didn't do it. Hell no! I'm a fall guy! I've been framed! It's a setup! I was getting too close to the truth, so they had to get rid of me. This should be good. Your wife and the pizza delivery guy had to get rid of you? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, they were gonna whack me. Motherfuckers, they, they, they were gonna whack me, steal my money. It was self-defense. Right, your wife and the pizza guy were trespassing in your bed and you killed them. No, I didn't kill anyone. It's a frame-up. Weren't you listening? Okay, now I get it. Your wife and the pizza guy deviously conspired to set you up. They killed themselves in your bed with your gun, proceed to chop each other to pieces in your bathtub with your chainsaw, and finally lure you to the backyard where they patiently wait under the rose bush to inject you with V, and when you are helpless, they leak blood all over you and call the police. Anything to add? See, that's just it. I wish it was that easy. And, and I know this sounds crazy, but they weren't in on it alone. It's much bigger than that. Basically, anyone who does home delivery is in on it. The mailman. And that means that the government is involved. The mailman told me all about it. So all we have to do is to get in touch with this mailman and we get the proof. See, that's not gonna work. He's dead. The mailman's dead. I'm sure the DA would go easy on you if you'd just come clean right now and told where you buried his body. I suppose it's not under the same rose bush. See what I mean? This is what I'm talking about. You're not listening. You fail to grasp how serious this is. Okay, so how would you like to take this forward? Give me a gun and set me loose, and I'll have this mess sorted out in no time. Okay, wise guy, the comedy hour is over. You shut up for a while so I can write this crap down. Games. You know, stupid dick justice and stuff. Doesn't go to work, gives me no thought. Unfortunately, being a jerk is not a crime. No, no, I wasn't finished. I'm getting to it. So I got real sick of it and threw the television out of the window. It was mine. I can do whatever I want with it, right? As long as no one got hurt. That's what I told him. He's my ex, really. But now the sicko's threatening to kill me. That's a crime, right? He's been playing those video games an awful lot. Makes him a very good shooter. Holding that controller's like holding a gun, they say in the news. You gotta help me. I fear for my life. Okay, miss. Sit down for a moment and we'll take your name and address and see what we can do about it. Okay.